For years, Russia has been accused of trying to influence Americans through social media on our phones and computers. But now Twitter has suspended more than 500 accounts after NBC News and Oxford University uncovered what appears to be a propaganda campaign originating in China. In China, the government controls what citizens can and cannot see on the Internet. This morning, new signs Beijing is targeting the U.S. with its propaganda. At the oldest university in the English-speaking world, a very high-tech battle. Marcel Schliebs at Oxford University's Programme on Democracy and Technology investigates modern-day state-sponsored disinformation campaigns. How much time do you spend sitting here? <laughs> Often quite long, um, diving into hundreds of thousands of retweets, really, of, Ch of Chinese diplomats. Working with NBC News, he followed those messages, uncovering a new phony claim that COVID originated from Maine lobsters. An allegation Maine's CDC told us was a load of codswallop. The FDA saying there's no epidemiological evidence backing it up. Yet online, it was starting to pick up steam. What I found when I started looking was accounts that repeatedly and in multiple languages shared snippets of text that were identical. NBC News and the Oxford Lab identified over 1,500 tweets falsely claiming that coronavirus was imported to China on American seafood. Just the latest twist to a bogus allegation that Chinese authorities have been pushing since the start of the pandemic. One of the first places the propaganda appeared was in a Chinese language article. A Chinese diplomat tweeted the report in English. Soon, more than a thousand tweets were being sent out on multiple fake or hacked accounts. And at the same time, each day, approximately 8 a.m. in Beijing. That's suspicious. That's what, what I was thinking as well. <laughs> Twitter has now suspended over 500 accounts our investigation uncovered. And more keep popping up. When you look at this graph, it's like they're trying to create a tidal wave of propaganda on my phone. Now, researchers who've investigated Russian propaganda are increasingly focused on the threat from China. The content that we, experience, that we get in our social media feeds mirrors very closely official government policy. It's uh, got talking points, it's consistent, it's delivered on a regular schedule. Twitter told us they proactively and routinely tackle attempts at platform manipulation and that they removed all of the accounts we flagged to them under that policy. But research continues to show US social media is vulnerable to influence by foreign governments. And in response to our reporting, guys, the Chinese embassy here in London told us China has always been committed to making its voices heard in a truthful, objective and fair manner and opposed to the fabrication and spread of disinformation. China is the biggest victim of disinformation. In that statement, it accuses Western media and governments of spreading false rumours about COVID and of China bashing. Just this month, guys, the World Health Organization launched a new effort to try to find out the truth of where COVID came from. Guys? Oh, it's a fascinating story, mm -hmm. Kira. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.